When you hear the word cancer being thrown around in technology circles, as often as not, the thing being discussed is a game console, RGB setup, or video thumbnail, or maybe even an overpriced Apple product. But there's one real discussion about how technology relates to actual cancer that just never seems to go away. Does radiation from wireless devices like cell phones cause it? To answer, let's unpack exactly what your cell phone gives off other than location data to advertisers. To send and receive calls and data, cell phones use what's called electromagnetic radiation. The same kind of energy your car stereo receives and turns into sound. The same kind of energy microwaves use to heat up your food, that x-ray machines use to see your bones, and even that the sun or a light bulb emits as plain old visible light. Of course, that word radiation might immediately make you think of a cancer-inducing nuclear accident. And that seems pretty logical. Think about how you have to wear that heavy protective lead jacket when you go in for an x-ray, or how ultraviolet rays from the sun can burn you and give you skin cancer. Well, let's hold on a minute. Although certain kinds of EM radiation can indeed pose real health hazards, it's important to know this is restricted to higher energy varieties, like UV light, X-rays, and gamma rays. Though you won't have to worry about that uh, last one, unless you're hanging out unshielded in outer space, or standing too close to a nuclear explosion. So if that's the case, you probably have far greater concerns. Anyway, the point is, these kinds of radiation propagate at much higher frequencies than radio waves or visible light, meaning they're a lot more energetic. This is bad because they're actually energetic enough to damage your DNA's chemical structure when they hit your body, causing mutations that can lead to cancer if they hit genes that regulate cell growth, and even possibly death. You've actually seen this for yourself if you've ever gotten a sunburn. The pain and redness are actually part of your body's response to DNA damage caused by too much UV light. But the good news is that the kinds of radiation given off by cell phones, wireless routers, and laptops is far too low frequency and therefore low energy to mess with your DNA. Many studies have been done to examine this issue and no definitive link between cancer and the use of cell phones or other common wireless gadgets has ever been found. And this actually makes sense. The highest frequency waves currently used by cell phone networks and Wi-Fi are around 1900 megahertz to 60 gigahertz, respectively. By contrast, the lowest energy forms of UV light have a frequency of around 30 million gigahertz. So if ear cancer is the excuse you give Gran when you don't want to hear about any more stories about back when things were better, you better hope she never watches this video. Though, to be fair, there's a good chance it won't change her opinion anyways. In spite of the numerous studies, many folks are still concerned that cell phones pose a real danger. And some have even gone so far as to relocate to areas that have fewer radio waves flying through the air. One such area is the United States National Radio Quiet Zone, near the Virginia slash West Virginia border, where the government has restricted radio traffic so it can carry out scientific and military operations more easily. But in reality, there's really no reason your smartphone should have you literally heading for the hills, unless you're just really tired of getting calls from your cousin to go bowling. TunnelBear VPN lets you tunnel to 20 different countries, allowing you to browse the internet and use online services as if you're in a different country. They have easy to use apps for iOS, Android, PC, and Mac, and they also have a Chrome extension. Just choose the country in the app, turn TunnelBear on, and watch as your bear tunnels your internet connection all the way over to that other pipe in your new location. When you turn TunnelBear on, two things happen. Your connection gets encrypted with AES 256-bit encryption, and your public IP address gets switched, so you show up as if you're in that different country. They also have a top-rated privacy policy and do not log user activity. You can try out TunnelBear VPN with 500 megabytes of free data and no credit card required. And if you choose to get a year of unlimited data, you can save 10% by going to tunnelbear.com slash Linus. All right, guys, if you liked the video, like it. If you disliked the video, dislike it. Let me know in the comments down below if you have any suggestions for things that we should cover on TechWiki. Also, check out channel Super Fun because it's super fun. And before you leave, hit the little bell that's next to the subscribe button and get notified for all of our future videos if you want to see them all. And I'll see you next time if you do that. If not, then I'll see you sometime in the future.